Oh, what you thought about Dries? <laughs> about Dries Van Oten. I loved it. I thought it was completely amazing. My favorite thing is that, you know, everyone is doing the Balmain big shoulder and he did slouchy and the colors were just so rich and he sort of, you know, he's one of those fabulous designers who doesn't change every season. He sort of builds on what he's had been doing. So he still did those kind of crazy pattern things kind of put together. And just the shapes were just rich and luxe and glamorous, but at the same time, they just felt really right for now. You know, they just, I just wanted to wear them all, even though I'm not a lady. Oh, I love the text. I know. This is okay. so cool to do. I love this. I have a, I an older version. Christine, back. okay. So what did you think? Well, for Therese, I was really inspired by the presentation and the music and the repetition. What I thought was extraordinary was a mix of colors and from one girl to the other how each color was played off in bouncing off to the next girl and then one was taken to the next one. It was just like a palette which was so exquisite. And with that repetitive music, which remind me, by the way, Mr. Mickey, of the Robert Longo story, mm. falling, falling, falling. Mm. Uh, mm. I just felt the girls were kind of like in the clouds somewhere, walking, going nowhere, a bit disheveled, and um, I really loved that feeling. The clothes in themselves, oh, nothing was that stunning uh, or so avant-garde, but that's not true anyway. I, I saw the last two seasons honestly were well, stronger clothing wise, design wise for him. But I think it was really good basics, pieces that everybody will want to have in a closet. And and like Mr. Mickey was saying, he didn't go for the trend, he just went for what felt right for him and my hat to him for that. I mm -hmm. think he had major Diane Pernay inspiration with those glasses. Did you notice <laughs> the glasses? I just dawned on me. Mm -hmm. They were so you. <laughs> and yeah, I liked, as we talked about before, how he incorporated leopard into his textiles and that he did just black and white textiles and then color blocked them. Mm -hmm. I thought the palette was really rich. Mm -hmm. And um, as always, the prints were to die for, which is sort of his trademark. And I loved how the girls were in that sort of daze. That w and then that infinite runway extended by the giant vertical mirror was really cool. And it reminded me of the L'Enfant opening into the warehouse in the back. So it was kind of like yes. there was that similarity there between both presentation, which was quite interesting. And then the progression was good. It was really consummate styling with which girl would wore what exactly. color and yeah, yeah. the order they did that. Yeah, it was, it was really very good. well planned. Cool, thank you all.